Let's talk about the last section. It's the Realtors Technological Strategy Shaping the New Normal for the real estate industry. All right. We have already discussed the fact that the real estate industry is undergoing a profound evolution, probably one of the biggest evolutions that has changed this profession since the inception of the profession. Technology now is playing a central role in shaping how realtors use the strategies and how they actually exercise them in their daily professional lives. So one of the things that's going to be key for you guys is to enhance your online presence. Currently, realtors are strategically using the online as much as just what I would call an electronic business card. You know, they think they're using uh, data-driven technology, but they're just really scratching the surface. You guys need to understand that enhancing your online presence will actually increase or widen your audience and your potential pool of clients. So you've got to use or adopt user-friendly websites, visually appealing property listings, uh, comprehensive online portfolios, create a seamless and a logical, accessible experience for your clients, show, showcasing your properties and your dedication to this profession in the modern real estate world, all right? You can do that through leveraging social media. Social media has become a powerful tool to connect clients and allow us to showcase properties. You've got Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn and, and X and TikTok. And dude, I could stand here all day and name social media platforms. They all provide an opportunity for us as practicing professionals to share our property listings to share market insights, <clears throat> to engage with your audience on a personal level, ultimately building your brand and credibility and fostering your relationship with those potential clients. This is the new networking modus operandi. I know you talk to older agents or uh, people that are now out of the industry and they talk about going to network organizations like the Better Business Bureau or BNI. I'm claiming that social media is now the new brand or the new method by which that happens. In the digital marketing realm, you guys can leverage the digital marketing strategies to reach very targeted or niche audiences way more effectively than we used to be able to with just some broad shotgun pattern uh, advertisement in a newspaper, all right? So through this targeted advertising or dedicated email campaigns or content marketing, you can now position yourself in the industry as an expert in that area so that you will stay top of mind with your potential clients, ultimately driving leads to you and expanding your current database. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's, let's just pick a, a target market. Let's say golf course properties. You know, in your neighborhood, there might have been one golf course or two, but now with digital marketing and the ability to expand potential buyer pools, you now might be able to market that property on a social media platform to people that are living on a golf course in another state that have to move. And now they have the ability to access your listing or your marketing because of you have positioned yourself as the industry expert in golf course properties or lakefront properties or retirement properties or vacation home or commercial or investment, whatever area you want to be in, 
this digital marketing now allows you the possibility of marketing bigger. Um, I don't know how to explain that. Um, more, more effectively to more people. All right. Um, the virtual tours, VR. Um, I look forward to VR headsets coming through walkthroughs. I think that's going to happen. So when we integrate virtual tours and three walkthrough, it will actually revolutionize the way that we present properties to clients. All right. No more. Think about all of the ancillary parts to this too. No more traveling in the bad weather to go show a house. No more dealing with the lockbox code not opening. No more dealing with the lockbox code not even being there. What about the fact that now the seller doesn't even have to be gone? They could be doing virtual walkthroughs on a property at dinner time while they're sitting eating dinner because someone else is doing a walkthrough sitting, you know, five states away through a VR headset. This approach is going to enhance the property visibility. It's going to enhance the buyer pool. It's going to enhance the uh, or increase, maybe is a better word, the deal flow. It's going to streamline the time frame. So I think virtual tours are the next big explosion in this real estate new norm that you're going to start seeing happen. CRM software. CRM software is instrumental in streamlining, streamlining client interaction, and it will help you manage your leads. You will benefit from organized client data, automated communication like drip campaigns, and the ability to personalize an engagement. Once again, back to you know the niche marketing. You now will be able to personalize communication between the people that are on your database or in your CRM that are there just for golf course properties or lakefront. So this CRM, which we've been using for years, is actually was or was one of the, the first uh, technological breakthroughs that we have used. So if you're not thinking that CRM is a technological advancement because you've been using it, realize that's what I was mentioning way earlier in this class that we as a profession have been progressing quickly through the technology. Online reputation management. We've talked about having online profiles and I told you one of the disadvantages was inaccurate or unreliable reviews. Well, that could actually lead to a whole field now that people practice called reputation management. You may have to deal with this because if there are bad reviews out there, you're going to have to somehow spin that or fix the erroneous reviews to create a positive online reputation because that is going to be key for you so that you can stay ahead of your compadre sitting right beside you. Because somebody out of state looks up, you know, Dave and Bob, and Bob's got a bad online reputation without even really talking to Bob. He might call the other guy, and therefore Bob is losing clients because of an online reputation due to bad reviews or mis uh, leading reviews like we talked about. Of course, the other thing's possible is there could be fake reviews that give someone a better reputation and they end up getting business and suck <laughs> and gives us all a bad name. So online reputation management management is actually going to be crucial for you guys to actively cultivate and maintain your online presence and establish yourself as a reliable, reputable professional in the real estate market. So I guess this is the backside or the second part of that profile is it's going to bring about reputation management. So you're going to have to occasionally go out and look at yourself. How does your profile look to the general public? Are there mistakes on it? Are there inaccuracies? Could it be better? So that is part of something you guys are going to have to start thinking about. Now, the next thing here is kind of a pseudo step 
to what we were just talking about, uh, the high quality uh, photography. You know, visual quality is going to be the content king in the real estate industry. I heard someone tell me five years ago that your online pictures are the new drive-by. You know, people used to drive by houses. They'd see one black and white picture in a uh, real estate magazine on a Sunday morning. And then they would go out Sunday afternoon and drive by houses to look at them before they call us. Well, now they can do this with all those digital platforms that we talked about. And I think what this person was talking about was these pictures are the new drive by. Um, and I hate to use the analogy and I, I honestly don't know the app, but what's the app? Somebody help me out here where you look at a picture of someone you're interested in for dating and you swipe left or swipe, swipe right, you know, interested, not interested, how quick that swipe is. That's what we're talking about now with your professional photography on these online platforms. Pictures bad, swipe left. Oh, I like that one, swipe right. So it is your new drive by these pictures uh one of the other things you guys we haven't really been a big fan of some people out there may have uh so don't send me hate mail about this is professional staging all right now i wonder if there's going to be well i, I actually know there is but how big is going to be this virtual staging that could be another benefit that could be another software that you provide on your website is this ability for someone to take a picture and virtually stage it so that they know what their couch looks like or they know what a grand piano looks like sitting in that room once again that could help in some of the other areas that we've talked about because you might virtually stage a virtual walkthrough of a vacant home that gives the client, you know, we're talking about a double dose of technology here, the virtual walkthrough, so they didn't have to drive to the other side of town to physically see the house, but now a virtual staging so that they could see what it would look like with an eight setting uh, dining room or a, you know, sectional sofa and a 73 inch screen TV. All of that can be done virtually, and that may be software that you're going to see becomes commonplace. Uh, even a house that's already staged or a house that's not staged but is being lived in, there could be a way to remove all that furniture and let a potential buyer add furniture to it so that they can see, oh, well, that looks very cluttered. Let me take all these out and add back a single couch and see what it looks like. So this attention to these positive first impressions are going to reflect on your commitment to excellence, all right? <clears throat> you guys are going to have to obtain some tech-savvy expertise. Demonstrating your tech-savvy experience or expertise as a realtor is going to set you as an industry leader. Staying current of all the latest technologies, such as augmented reality, virtual reality, um, smart home integration. Uh, I've got a building that uh, we use for a whole separate business I own, where all the lights, the thermostat, uh, the radio uh, are all on Alexa. And I can turn it off and on from here, literally, while I'm teaching class and Turn the heat on, turn the air off, raise the temperature, turn the lights on, all of that. So that smart home integration is going to be another part of the tech savvy knowledge that you're going to need. This is also going to prove to your client that you have cutting edge capabilities and per, can provide cutting edge solutions in this new norm of real estate that's coming due. When it comes to providing educational content, you guys are going to have to provide some of that data that the consumer wants to look for. If you are that educational provider, meaning you are the one teaching them that data or giving them that data, this once again empowers you as being the leader in the industry. That's going to allow you to expand your database of potential clients. 
Are you the one doing the uh, blogs or uh, podcasts or YouTube videos that they are always watching about the market trends, about the process, about investment strategies? Once that starts happening, you are going to be gained or seen as the expert in your field, which once again will attract potential clients. When it comes to personalized service, you guys might want to start thinking about adopting technology to allow you to personalize service, like data-driven insights from your CM CRM software that will tailor an approach to a specific client. That's what I was talking about earlier, where your CRM could be um, segregated so that you've got uh, lakefront buyers, golf course buyers, investment buyers, you know, urban buyers where they want to live downtown in a condo. And then that will give personalized service in that area. Showcasing your local expertise through your digital platform can establish you guys as the go-to authority in that market. Um, if you are utilizing local content, neighborhood guides, uh, most all Facebooks now have a uh, area chat, you know, Brown County area chat is one that I've seen, uh, Ocala chat. Uh, incorporating those chats into your web page will make you appear to be the local expert, thus giving you in-depth knowledge and an, an advantage to someone else that's working in the nearby area. When it comes to networking and collaboration, you guys better recognize the importance of collaboration in the digital age. Platforms like LinkedIn is a great example of where there's real estate specific network giving opportunities to, for realtors to connect, collaborate, and share insights with other agents. As you may know, I run a Facebook page called Real Estate Professionals that has, I don't know, 7,000 agents all over the United States on it, and we use it to collaborate. We also use it to give referrals too, by the way, uh, which will foster a sense of community, which will contribute to professional growth, and that's kind of what we want to do, all right? So these strategies that are employed by you guys from this point forward are dynamic, meaning they're going to change. They're technology driven. They provide a bunch of advantages to enhance your client interaction and streamline the process and give you a leading position as an industry leader. You need to learn to continue to leverage the technology to enhance your position as one of the prof industry professional leading people, all right?